every day, men and women in this great country wake up and set about building their dreams. They are the lifeblood of our land. They are the workers. And this is Workers' Prayer. Good morning and welcome to one more Workers' Prayer. Happy Friday to all of you. And some, some are not having that happy Friday or even happy week because things, things are really, really bad, really tough. But w whatever is your case, remember, with God, you can overcome. What seems impossible to you can become possible through faith. Before I came to the church, I was smoking, I was drinking. I was introduced to smoking by my friends. And because of I wanted to fit in there, I started to smoke, I started to drink. Because one thing for sure, they were having many ladies. At school, my marks started to drop. So as time went by, I hid this smoking habit and drinking habit. It affected my relationship with my mother as well because our relationship was no longer the same. I would wake up with moods because if I didn't have, my head would be like, it's boiling inside. Then at first I tried to stop the addiction of smoking and drinking. What I did, I tried to be far from the friends. I tried to be far from the kinds of people that they were. The drinking one, I tried as well not to go any more parties, but then, the moment I, t I start to do that, the guys would come. I, I couldn't resist, I couldn't say no to, 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 the, to, to what they were bringing. I knew about the church through my mother. The first time I went to the church, I spoke to a pastor there. He told me that even though I may speak with you, I may tell you that, you know, God can change your situation, but you also need to do your part. So I came Tuesdays, I came Fridays, and it came to a moment where I, I came now every day, Monday to Monday, I was there. Not after so long, I quitted smoking and drinking. Things changed, my, my, relationship, my relationship with my mother was restored, even my dignity as well. Today I'm... I'm three years not smoking, no drinking, and no ladies as well. The greatest thing that I found in the church was God because I have peace. I have something of which no one could give to me, no mother, no father, no family, no one. I no longer worry now. I no longer fear. What if I die today? If I die today, I die today. That's one of the greatest treasures I found in the church. The story of Vusi Musi explains to us, shows to us that our, our lives, our tomorrow depends on the choices that we make today. And perhaps you are suffering a lot on account of bad choices that you have made. If this is your case, don't despair. We are going to pray and I believe God will help you change your life. My Father, in the name of your Son, Jesus, we enter your presence, we consecrate this glass of water, and I pray, for, I pray for people who are out there living a desperate life, and, and maybe the problems they faced or are facing push them over, over the edge. They are drinking, they are smoking, they are living a life of promiscuous life, there is, no, there is no peace in them anymore. But Lord, when they drink this glass of water, touch them with inner peace. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, I believe that God has blessed your life and in the same way he changed the life of Vusi Musi, he's going to change your life as well. That's it for today. May God bless all of you. We're back tomorrow, 7.55 in the morning. And of course, Sunday, 6 o'clock. We believe that God is going to bless your life. Okay? God bless you. Until tomorrow, 7.55. Bye-bye. Workers' Prayer.